Welcome back to the Pentest Workshop. In this video, we're going to be scanning multiple hosts and importing them all at once. We're going to be showing the additive nature of running additional scans. We'll do some engagement maintenance. We'll take a look at the built-in Nmap script library. And then we'll review the Nmap scan results. And we'll also be taking a look at the global service notes and the export IP functionality. There's a lot to cover, so let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is create a new engagement. We'll call this engagement HTB Retired since we're going to put the Hack the Box Retired machines into this engagement. And let's run some scans. For this one, we're going to do an import and we're going to set our target to 10, 10, 10, and we want to do hosts 15 through 17. So that'll be dot 15, 16, and 17. Hack the Box doesn't run a DNS server, but if it did, we could put this in right here, and we would get labels automatically for the machines that we import. So we'll go ahead and run this full subnet scan. You can see our nmap command down here has already been built for us. We'll copy this and paste this into our terminal. And just let this run. Okay, now that the scan is completed, let's switch back over to our web application and import the results under the nmap subnet scan XML file. And when we run this, we'll see that it imports three hosts, the 15, 16, and 17. We can start to label these as a server. 15 is called granny. 16 is called October. And you can see our labels populating here along with our machine type. It already imported the operating system due to the dash O in our nmap scan. So we've got one Windows machine and two Linux boxes. 17 is called BrainFuck. And when we expand these machines, we see we've already got ports for all of these machines. We can also see the list of services. So here's all of our machines with the HTTP service. Here's all of our machines with the POP3 service, just organized in a little bit different way. Let's go ahead and add one more host. We'll add the 10, 10, 10, 51 machine. This is called Solid State. This is a server. I think this is a Linux box, but we can change that later if we're wrong. And for this machine, we're going to run two scans. We're first going to run the top 1000. And now we'll import the results of the top 1000 scan. That was this guy. And we have one, two, three, four, five ports. Now let's run another scan, and this time we're going to run all TCP ports. And now that that scan is complete, we can see that Nmap discovered a new port, 4555, which we didn't get during our initial scan. So if we import this new file, the all.xml file, it doesn't overwrite any ports that are already there. It simply adds to the port list. Now we have 4555 for the solid state machine. Now let's do some engagement maintenance. We'll switch back to our dashboard. And in a previous video, we created this HTTP demo 
Bluehost. This is a retired machine also, so we want to bring this over to our HTTP retired engagement. We open up the host, and we can click this forward button, move button, and we're going to move this to our HTB retired engagement. And now it belongs to the HTB retired. When we switch back to our dashboard, we'll rename this HTB demo. We'll just reuse this and we'll call this HTB active. And when we start to attack the hack the box active machines, we can put the active machines into this engagement. As hack the box retires those machines, we can move them over to our retired engagement and keep everything nice and organized. These engagements can also be dragged around. And same with the hosts. You can reorganize these as you need to. I like to put my rooted machines at the bottom so that when I'm working on these machines I can see them right at the top. Now let's take a look at the built-in Nmap script library. We have an HTTP service and if we wanted to enumerate this service a little bit more with Nmap we can search for available Nmap scripts If we wanted to run the HTTP enum nmap script, we can copy this command, switch to our terminal, paste this in, and now we'll run the HTTP enum script against the granny host on port 80 only to make it go a little quicker. Let's cancel out of that and switch back to our web application. If we take a look at this host, we can see our previous Nmap scan that we ran when we imported the three hosts in the beginning is saved to this host. And we can view the details by clicking on this scan and dropping down into the details of what was in that Nmap scan to begin with. We can see all of the initial ports that it scanned, all of the additional information that Nmap provided, such as the HTTP methods. We might want to take a look at some of these move and put commands for this server and any other information that might be available. Another time saver that pentest.ws offers is the global service notes. We'll open up this HTTP service and in my account I've left myself notes for different commands that we can run when we encounter the HTTP service. Now these notes stick to the HTTP service regardless of the engagement or the host that you're using. So when we edit this stuff and we switch over to another host, we can see the same HTTP global service notes as before. Now these commands use environment variables to inject the IP address and the port that we're targeting. And a quick shortcut to get that information into your terminal is available down here. So if we wanted to run a command against this October machine, we can switch to our terminal, paste in the export command. That'll store the IP address and the port number. And when we run these commands, say for instance nicktoo, it's got the IP and port already built in. And nicktoo will start scanning that server and port number. We can also run dir search much the same way with our selected word list and all of our options that we like simply copy this in. One thing we do need to notice is when we open up a new terminal window we need to re-export the IP address and port number and now we can run these commands from our global service notes.
Endure search will kick off and run a scan against this server with our word list and our options. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching the Pentest Workshop. Be sure to sign up for an account at pentest.ws.